my name is Lois Durso, and I'm here today along with Mary Ann Carr. I would like to thank you for watching our PowerPoint presentation, taking time out of your day to learn more about Truck Underride and our efforts over the past couple of years to make these kinds of devastating crashes more survivable. On November 24th, 2004, the night before Thanksgiving, my daughter Roy was traveling with her fiance to have Thanksgiving dinner with his family. Joe was driving, couple was traveling about 30 to 35 miles an hour when Joe lost control of the car and it slid under the side of a semi-tractor trailer. The rear wheel of the trailer pinned Roya's side of the car, crushing her. The truck driver did not know their car was underneath. He just felt a bump. So he dragged their car for a period of time. When it was all over, my daughter did not make it to the hospital. Joe, however, survived with barely a scratch. The reason? His side of the car didn't go under the trailer. One of the first things I learned after my daughter's crash, it wasn't the crash that took her life, it was the underwrite. On May 4th, 2013, I got in our Crown Vic with the three youngest of our nine children. Anna Leah was 17, Caleb was 15, and Mary was 13. On our way to Texas from North Carolina on I-20 in Georgia, we came upon slow traffic from a previous crash. We slowed down, but a truck driver did not. He hit our car, it spun us around, and sent us backward into the back of the tractor trailer ahead of us. The rear underride guard came off, and the back of our car went underneath the trailer. Anna Lee and Mary were in the back seat. Anna Lee had died instantly, and Mary a few days later from her injuries. My son and I in the front seat, however, survived the horrific crash because the truck did not come into our part of the car. The basic problem with underride is not the weight difference between a truck and a smaller car, or even the size, but the geometric mismatch. The bottom of a trailer is maybe 41 inches, and the bumper of a car is somewhere around 30 and the car easily slides under the truck and the first port of imp impact is the windshield and then into the passenger compartment and we see people continue to die like this beautiful six-month-old baby i believe she uh died in maine as the result of an underride crash at that same week, there was another infant who died in Florida, a nine-month-old in the Fort Myers area because of an underride. This family, mom was a, a nurse and she died because of a rear underride and two of her children died. The um, third one who was in the last row of her minivan uh, survived with injuries. Because, because he didn't experience underwrite, so he was more protected. This one was in Texas, just January 2nd this year, and a 35-year-old man rear into the truck. He swerved, so just the right part of his pickup truck uh, actually hit the left side of the trailer, and he survived, but his eight-year-old son died. So according to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, when they've been testing, they've realized that the outer edges of the rear guard are the weakest. And when a driver is heading toward the rear of a semi-tractor trailer, they, they, the first inclination is to swerve. And um, unfortunately, they hit those weak areas. And that's why it's so important to put stronger guards on the rear as well as on the side. We know that underride happens in every state and that, um, as I said before, it's a decades old problem and until uh, people in government are um, taking this seriously, you know, people will continue to die in their state and, you know, there are ways to prevent that. We know that. We've seen it. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Um, they've done a lot of testing that demonstrates underride protection works. Last comment is that we um, are asking the uh, Commerce Committee to have NHTSA um, do a pilot study for side underride 
It's been going on way too long. They know that side under ride is a problem. They know that people die from the sides, uh, from going underneath the sides of semi tractor trailers. And um, there are ways to prevent it. And I, I think a good first start is have, to have uh, the Commerce Committee direct NHTSA to do a pilot uh, under ride study for the sides. So thanks, Lois, and uh, we hope to see lots of you. Thank you. All right.